Did you know that some of the most important mathematical concepts we use today were first developed during the Golden Age of Islam? It's true. The contributions from this era are mind-blowing and still influence our lives in ways we often overlook. So, what exactly was the Golden Age of Islam? This remarkable period spanned roughly from the 8th to the 14th centuries and was a time of incredible intellectual and cultural growth in the Islamic world. It laid the foundation for modern science, mathematics, and even philosophy, shaping the very knowledge and culture we engage with today. Now, you might have heard that the Islamic world stagnated during the Middle Ages, right? That's a common misconception. In reality, this period was marked by tremendous growth and advancement. Scholars faced significant challenges, though. They worked hard to preserve ancient texts, translating and expanding on knowledge from civilizations like Greece, Rome, and India. This wasn't easy, as the Islamic world was often divided by political conflicts and cultural differences. But despite these hurdles, they managed to create a rich tapestry of knowledge that would influence generations to come. Let's dive into some of those key innovations and discoveries. For starters, in medicine, figures like Avicenna wrote the Canon of Medicine, which became a standard textbook in Europe for centuries. In mathematics, the introduction of algebra, thanks to mathematicians like Al-Khwarizmi, revolutionized the way we solve equations. And speaking of astronomy, the astrolabe was perfected during this period, allowing explorers to navigate the seas with precision. Don't forget about architecture either. The stunning mosques and palaces with their intricate designs and stunning domes showcase the artistic skills and engineering prowess of the time. Now, let's highlight a pivotal moment in this era, the establishment of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. This was more than just a library. It was a massive research center where scholars from various backgrounds came together to share and expand knowledge. They translated texts, conducted experiments, and debated ideas, leading to groundbreaking advancements in numerous fields. The impact of this institution was monumental, as it served as a beacon of learning that attracted thinkers from all over the world, ultimately influencing the Renaissance in Europe. To wrap it all up, the Golden Age of Islam was a time of extraordinary contributions that shaped our modern world. From advancements in science and mathematics to revolutionary ideas in medicine and architecture, the influence of this period is undeniable. These incredible achievements remind us of the importance of knowledge and collaboration across cultures. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Golden Age of Islam? Were you surprised by any of the innovations we discussed? And if you have any other historical periods you're curious about, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out more of my content for fascinating insights into history.